time Nyx Assassin, especially is one of those offlane heroes that actually needs the level to, to be valuable to the team, and the sooner that he comes online, he doesn't catch up as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important that he gets six and gets to, to be that threat around the map. Bottom puppy, he's going to be caught out. We were following that one for a while, and there's really not anything Eternal Envy can do. Again, this mid lane, things are kind of going relatively slowly. It feels like they're not even bothering sending the Air Spirit mid just because it is an OD. But they want to make an attempt at Eternal Envy. And it was blocked in by the Invis from Maposhka, and they're trying to get a little bit of more body blocking. And time for double Ion Shell. They will hit that rolling boulder, slowing down Eternal Envy even further. Their Ion Shell is doing a majority of damage, and it will be enough to kill the Naga Siren. A magic damage, follow that up with a kick or two. And that's good enough to be able to get the kill. At this point, does Secret consider uh, rotating again? Do they move Nyx Assassin out of that top lane and try and get away from this Dark Seer combo? Oh, bottom again. Yeah, because they might lose. I die here. He's already got the spirits out. Maposh got trying to commit to the kill, but he can't quite get it. Enough to be able to stay alive. Yeah, I don't even think that Astro was that necessary. I'm pretty sure he was. Oh, but just like that, they realize this is the opportunity to go on the bottom lane. They roll in and Maposhka. That was a beautiful combination from the Earth Spirit. Just the minor thing, but him coming in, hitting that rolling boulder, and then kicking Eternal Envy deeper into the lane. So they have the time to run him down with the Ion Shell. That was a perfect combination by him. Yeah, I think the biggest problem that Secret has right now is that I don't see any other options for them to create enough space for Eternal Envy to catch up, oh, of other than, than the Nyx's Assassin. Can do here. Face shift may not cost you any mana, but it's certainly not going to get you away from our tour when he sees that opening. Mm -hmm. Clearly, this is a team they scouted out. Yeah, they very much backed out. And that is a big downside of the Nyx Assassin, right? Is that his timings are kind of easy to read. They're going to oh, bottom. Nice follow up with the silence. They're going to be able to fully take down Universe before he ch has a chance to hit a button to try and set up a, a potential pickoff that can lead into maybe more of a team fight or pressuring a tower. And Arteezy's used the... Yeah, unfortunately, our Earth Spirit no longer in position at this mid lane, or maybe he could punish this. They may still be able to. Scandal's dropping a bit low. They managed to get the Hex on Arteezy. Nice long kick there from the Earth Spirit to be able to finish off the Wisp. They're going to be able to roll into Maposka. They have the follow-up here from Rancis as they identify Artur at target number uno to be able to take down. He goes for the TP out. Do they have a stun? They actually don't. No vacuum up on the Darkseer, so he's able to get out. But Secret still losing a lot out of that fight. Two heroes picked off, and the mid lane is going to be pressed out by Empire. I think the only thing that went sort of out of sorts is the Dyer's Earth Spirit could have just been under sitting mid and waiting for that opportunity, but... Oh, what is this? Eternal Envy setting up the sleep on a scandal here. Does he actually think they're going to be able to pick him off this. the right kind of impale? Nope. Gets the orb out. Meanwhile, they do have the relocate in. Able to catch Afterlife, so that's one for Team Secret, but they need a little bit more. But Poshka, ooh, Arteezy canceled that ultimate, realizing it was just barely going to be out of range, alleviating some of that pressure in the mid lane. It was a very optimistic go on the uh, puck by Universe. Mm -hmm. Scandal still going to be imprisoned up here. Doesn't have the orb, has a regen, but I don't think he has enough space. Artur still has the ultimate to be able to drop and hit King R as well. He still has enough mana to be able to get off the Hex, but now with the drums activated, King R's just going to be run down. Easy peasy for Arteezy. Stick Empire rotate to the bottom lane. Is there something better about them putting pressure on mid? Because it seems like this would be the time to fight. I just think it you can't rotate heroes in one by one. And mid, Ramses is going to get gone on, but Boils out there. Universe tries to hit the stun. Mid the on that one, and now the Earth Bear making the big initiation. Already gets the three-man silence. They're going to follow up again. Going for RTZ first, trying to force him back. Might they be able to kill him a little so bit badly. more damage. All requires the Pylai die. Comes in with save at the perfect time. Secret will have to play back, though. Can't get any sort of turnaround, even if they do manage to save Arteezy. Or set up the fights, and Secret are going to go for a smoke of their own. Is They're going to move down here, and Empire, they want to take this fight, but they might just not have the items of the heroes to do it. Puppy putting himself out there is bait. He knows the rest of his team is going to be able to follow this up. They're going to go immediately jump on a puppy, but the trap is sprung. Now the rest of Secret come in a big ultimate being dropped by Artur, already limiting the mana of Team Empire. Ramsey's committing here for Universe, but the damage is coming out from the Earth Spirit. They slow down this fight now. Secret would be able to save Universe with that imprisoned. Maposhka continuing to get some damage out. Universe is going to be left behind here as Team Secret call quits on that team fight. Not really able to get the execution that they wanted. They did set up that trap nicely, but weren't able to finish off the puck. That was definitely one of the bigger targets they were aiming for. I mean, that I'm, it must have been. Just because the, the way that that fight started was, 
actually really good for Secret. Like, they lost the Dazzle, but they had a... Uh, Empire had to commit so much for that. Again, our tour manages to sidestep everything the Earth Spirit is throwing at him, but he still managed to get off. the double impale into Pylai Dai, almost being popped by the Finger of Death. But again, the double support combination saving each other time after time will be able to provide the turnaround as he come in in force. It's the puck to pick somebody off. But who on Secret can you do that to? You've got a Hood OD that has demonstrated time and time again has a support behind them. Oh, they didn't realize it, but that was actually a trap set up by Empire, and they fall through beautifully. Seeker make the relocate in. Fortunately, our tour is going to be dead. It's delayed by their Shallow Grave, and he will be able to maybe get one kill. Not even that much, the imprisonment. They're going to go for the kick immediately, and right as he comes back, beautifully timed by Maposhka, a Star Earth Spirit player being born here today. That was... We're really seeing his level at a high level play. Yeah, now Ramsey still has that ultimate. They might be able to catch more as Puppy. He's definitely dead. Universe is going to be able to get out. So two go down, make it a third. Universe at the very last second. He made that call. I'm going on the Spectre, relocating. It's, just, it's frustrating to play against is what it is. You've got uh, two levels of security for Secret in both the supports. Radiant's Most importantly, you've got Eternal Envy who just has to sit back, walk in. Or Tor just blinks right in. There are three heroes surrounding him. The universe is going to be able to provide him for backup. First, the kick comes in. They blow up Universe. Now here comes the relocate in as Pylai die. Hoping to be able to survive. The six seconds required to be able to get our Tor the hell out of here. Three more seconds for the nukes. They're coming quick and fast. It looks like oh, Pylai die. will go down first. Our Tor has no chance in hell. Trapped in a corner and secret. Quick on the retreat, but Empire have already won the big engagement. They might be able to get more. Yeah, the dagger's going to be able to fall, Puppy. He has no out here whatsoever. And Empire just want to fight right outside of the Roshan pit. They immediately funnel in. They're going to be able to take themselves ages. You almost, uh, as, as stupid as this is going to sound, you almost consider putting on, on the Lion so that he's a factor again once he respawns, just because he's going to be blown up so fast by this secret Lion, because once OD releases anything on him, he's going to go down, but those disables are valuable. Oh, Spike Carapace into the stun. Afterlife is going to get taken out by RTZ, but maybe not. The mech goes down. One more hitting. They do manage to get the kill. Still, though, the Puckler's Tour Fire is going to be able to take our tour in return. They do get the sleep out. That's only going to be able to save Universe's life. It was just a tad bit too late to be able to save the others of Team Secret. Another gank Team Secret go for. Again, the Nyx Assassin setting up the relocate, but Empire so quick with the response are going to be able to catch three there as Puppy finally ends up going down. And now Team Empire pounding on the door of the Tier 2. Okay, you've almost got a BKB on Afterlife now, so the Arcane Orb won't really do too much to him. We already talked about how much Secret lies on. Uh, more of their magic damage, and the bottom universe might just go down again. Trying to push out that bottom lane, but will be caught by the double supports, and these supports have so much more mobility now with King R being able to have a blink dagger. Uh, almost a melt award be being given where he runs in with a dash just to gather information and, and make sure that the rest of his team can follow in with, with perfect positioning. Jacob, the melt award though, it's not just given to... Oh, at bottom. Sorry, I, I, I missed that one. I was listening to Jacob talk, but... They actually managed to get uh, a quick relocate out there. Yeah. To win the Milk Award, man, you've got to win the game while this happens. So, Are, are you saying Puppy isn't going to win the game? Hey, right now, it's, it's definitely not looking close. Easy. Empire, they haven't been jumping the gun too much, and now they actually might have find the kill. They know the Wiz is down. Our tour, oh, he's open for the kickoff. Kick, and this is going to be a huge kickoff they can actually take up, but of course they can. Empire rotated. Oh, Somebody just like dies. <laughs> Holy cow, yeah, Ramsey's, he's already looking for more. Almost wow. had Eternal Envy there as well. Jesus. Mm -hmm way to come back into this game, mm -hmm. but I guess I just overestimated how much damage that Spectre does, because they did not cut through that very quickly at all. With their cliff wards, they do see opportunity here, but no, first he misses out on the stun, and now there's oh, a chance that Kendall can actually be able to escape, he jumped over to his orb, should be enough distance, he's still kind of slowed down, but does manage to get the Dream Coil to slow down Team Secret's got to be careful, here. and they may stumble into a five-man fight they can't actually win. The Spectre ultimate is up too. They see Eternal Levy. Can they actually lock it down long enough to be able to prevent, prevent that Song of the Siren? They pop their BKBs. Eternal Levy doesn't actually have an escape from here. The rest of the secrets start coming forward, but it's too late. Eternal Levy's already gone. A pile like that gets away from the imprisonment, oh, the but both of these supports are just gone. And Team Secret, they're going to get fully wiped here if they're not careful. It's going to be two of their big ones. Now both supports are dead, and it's only Universe who's going to manage to get the escape of the TP out. Once again, Team Empire, they've been playing this patiently, and once again. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think the cloak makes the difference yeah. between the death and life there. Without the cloak, he probably has enough damage. Well, he sees Puppy, and that's actually going to be able to set up the Spectre ultimate. Oh, God. And Eternal Envy blowing the uh, the Song of Siren there, afraid that he was going to be the one who's jumped. Oh, that's going to open up the map a little bit for... And it sustains your pushes more than anything, which is what we already talked about that we're struggling with. 
when you've got the Naga Siren uh, Radiance Illusions popping out, and you've got to cut through them, even losing two, three hundred bits of your. Oh, they actually go for our tour here. The Scythe of Ice opening up. The BKB already activated, but they get the relocate out. So they still manage to have the save. Eternal Envy is going to be jumped down to Fusel constantly. Is going to be Scythe of Ice as well, and should be taken out here. The vacuum into the wall. Good setup there. That's going to be able to have Empire to fully strike on a Team Secret. It could have just been a one pick up, but now it's going to turn into so much more. And four go down from Team Secret, and Empire just opened up the base for themselves. Probably actually pulled up a. The move called the Archstyle, where he graves himself in steps. That often is also the, the quick quest. Yeah, but it, I, regardless, I don't think the fight would have mattered. No, no, it wouldn't have changed anything in this particular instance. Yeah, it was pretty one-sided, but hey, no, Empire just looking secret. so dominant. They're just falling apart, and now Artur, Vyback was the only one who had it. And now, dieback, immediate GG and DC out, and Secret are going to lose their very first game as a new team. That's Empire executing on a very high level. Mm -hmm. This is not Secret losing, that's Empire winning. Yeah, I actually completely agree. I think a lot of people are going to look at this game and say Secret played really badly, but you have to give just as much credit for Empire on the flip side of things that uh, relocate bait at bottom, the way that they anticipated the lane switch.